Hey folks, today I'd like to take a casual peek into the Transformers animated Megatron Transforming action figure by Hasbro. This Transformer is a leader class Transformer and was first released around 2007. I got this set in 2010 uh, when I bought it at Big Bad Toy Store. And uh, as you can see uh, from the plastic uh, packaging that's around the set here, this was a previously uh, open set. And it was actually a graded set uh, by uh, Big Bad Toy Store. I can't remember what the grading was, but uh, everything in the uh, description is uh, complete in the uh, packaging here. The only thing that was missing from the original uh, uh, set here is the uh, plastic uh, projectile that fires out of the cannon there. And I'm not uh, concerned about that at all. I really don't care for the uh, projectile. And I may have uh, lost it myself if I had it. <laughs> so uh, it's not really a big deal for me. And uh, I did pay 28 uh, or $29 uh, for this set. Taking a look at the packaging here, you can see it's in a sealed uh, plastic uh, wrapping here. That, uh, I guess this was done by Big Bad Toy Store. And you can see some bubble wrap uh, within the box there. And uh, I don't think you can see it on the video. I can't see it on the screen. But uh, the figure is uh, in there. I can see uh, some of the bladed accessories in there as well. So uh, it looks like everything is in there. And uh, we'll see when we get it open. Uh, we have here uh, the side of the packaging with uh, some of the other uh, Transformers from the animated line. Nice uh, artist rendition there of uh, Megatron. And uh, here we have uh, the back of the packaging here. And we have a quote here by Megatron. Crush the Autobots. And a uh, nice picture of the figure in bot mode. And a nice uh, picture of uh, Megatron in alt mode. And in the animated series, it looks like a Megatron is an attack helicopter. And uh, there's a, a description there of Megatron on there with some of uh, the, uh, let's see, it looks like his uh, abilities on there. So that's uh, kind of neat. We'll be uh, right back and have this package uh, out of the plastic packaging. Okay, we're back and we have Megatron out of the package and in his alt mode, uh, that of an attack helicopter. It's actually uh, quite neat. And uh, that everything was complete except for the uh, projectile that, that was already stated that was missing. Uh, I also discovered that what also was missing were the uh, transformation instructions. And if you don't know me about Transformers, I really, really suck at transformations. So, and uh, I tried to do it uh, myself uh, without the instructions, and uh, that was just a total fail. So I had to go online onto the interwebs to find uh, some transformation instructions. And I found a link to Hasbro's site, and they... Uh, had a PDF file for it and <laughs> it wasn't too bad with the instructions so uh, but uh, I got him into his alt mode here and uh, it's actually kind of neat and uh, taking a look at the uh, attack helicopter here it's got a basic uh, design of the helicopter which is actually kind of neat and the only thing uh, different I did uh, was uh, this rear uh, rotor area uh, the instructions say to fold uh, these down, which are uh, Megatron's uh, feet, by the way. And uh, with that folded down, it looks kind of funky to me. Because I'm so used to seeing uh, some rear uh, rotors on a helicopter. So I, I just flip these out in an angle to at least simulate something of a rear rotor on there. So, But uh, taking a look at the front here. You can see uh, the canopy here, uh, which is kind of cool, and uh, you can take a closer look there and get into focus. You can actually see uh, some uh, red translucent plastic uh, with some uh, black frame 
on here. Look like some of the black has rubbed off on there over time. And I don't know if you can actually see it, but there's actually some sculpted detail on the plastic, on the inner portion of the plastic there. It's actually kind of neat. Like uh, some circuitry design or some futuristic design is actually kind of cool. And uh, it's actually some more etching over here on the top, which would have been nice if it was uh, actually colored black, uh, but that's not too bad. And you got some thrusters back there, it's kind of cool. Of course you got this front cannon there. Of course the missile is missing there, but that's okay. And uh, this cannon actually does rotate on there manually, which is kind of cool. And it does rotate along this axis as well, to, uh, I guess to fire on opponents. And you can see some wheels underneath. And uh, it does roll very, very well on there. And uh, right here, I only have an issue with this right here. I can never get this guy completely closed if you remove this. Um, this is uh, the part that goes on Megatron's arm, uh, but it cannot completely close. Uh, on there that's the only gripe I have with this uh, figure in its uh, alt mode but that's uh, not too bad on there oh and the uh, best thing about this uh, alt mode are the spinning rotor blades which is kind of cool and uh, you just take uh, either one it doesn't matter which one and if you manually spin it they're linked together so they spin uh, at the same time which is kind of cool and they do occasionally hit each other, which is not too bad because uh, it's pretty uh, loose here. And uh, so you can just get easily gets out of the way, but really, really neat. I really like the spinning uh, rotor blades. Very cool on there. And uh, you got a front view again. Uh, these also actually move up and down as well, which is kind of cool. I think these are intake valves on there, I'm not sure on there, uh, but very cool and very nice uh, alt mode for uh, Megatron, of course, uh, I'm always uh, used to seeing Megatron as a, a tank or a pistol, uh, but it's really nice to see uh, Megatron in a different mode here of an, an attack helicopter, which is really, really cool. Uh, we'll be right back and have Megatron in his bot mode. Okay, we have Megatron here in his bot mode and it is very, very nice. Uh, the alt mode was good, but this is even better. I really dig uh, this mode. And I'm a fan of the uh, animated line of Transformers uh, just because of the the aesthetic uh, design. And it's just, a, I, I think very nice uh, and uh, it really looks like uh, the designers uh, for the Transformers animated line uh, really designed it in bot mode first and then accommodated to create the alt modes and uh, this is a very cool uh, bot mode for sure uh, but first up uh, we'll go ahead and take a look at uh, some of the items uh, that are, are, are really weapon accessories and it's very cool he, he's got two swords here, uh, which are the rotor blades in his uh, uh, alt mode on there. And they do fit uh, the hands uh, pretty well. Uh, it's not a problem of it uh, going uh, in and out of his hand there. And it's really cool. It just makes him uh, even more of a badass to wield uh, two uh, swords there. It's uh, very, very cool on there and uh, very very neat on there but uh, there's some more detailing uh, of the sword there you got the handle here and uh, I guess the hilt of the sword and double blades on there very very cool uh, next thing uh, we can take a look at or is the arm cannon there uh, which is uh, an iconic uh, piece of weaponry uh, for Megatron and um, it's a spring-loaded firing weapon. I don't have the projectile, of course, uh, but uh, it's pretty neat. Um, you just cock that back, I guess, and then there's a button to fire the missile. I can't remember where the button is now. Um, it might be here. Yeah, you see, just 
cock that back and you fire uh, the missile right there. Push it, I guess push it in, P push it back and it'll fire the missile. But uh, very cool and uh, like I said earlier it does uh, rotate on there so if you want it, different kinds of positions on there. And uh, the weapon mount can be uh, applied on uh, either arm. There are three grooves on there and uh, you can there's three slots and you basically just slide it over that and as you can see it fits uh, Megatron's uh, arm uh, fairly well and it really doesn't move out until you actually pull it off so very cool on there but taking a look at uh, Megatron himself it's uh, very neat uh, my only gripe uh, with this figure in uh, bot mode is, uh, as you just saw uh, right now, is uh, he's uh, tends to be back heavy due to this uh, the canopy here and the wings of the attack helicopter. So if you don't have a good grip and you start positioning his legs and stuff, he'll tend to fall backwards on there. So, uh, which is not too bad I guess so you just have to be aware of it on there and uh, it's very very cool uh, another thing I have a minor complaint it's not really that big of a complaint uh, but when you have him standing straight up and down his legs tend to uh, curve inward on there so but uh, there's not really much you can do other than maybe just uh, move his legs apart and uh, uh, I guess to get him in some more decent poses, but when he's standing straight up and down, it does look kind of awkward with him uh, with his legs moved uh, inward uh, on there. But that's not a real big complaint. But uh, taking a look at the sculpt uh, there is very uh, nice. That's uh, one thing I like about the animated line: nice, clean, smooth uh, sculpt on there. Uh, you can actually really identify uh, that this is uh, Megatron on there it's not mecha organic uh, such as uh, some of the uh, movie transformers and I, I just really like uh, the aesthetic it's very very cool and uh, here's the button that when in alt mode produced uh, helicopter sounds but when you push this in uh, in bot mode uh, Megatron uh, utters uh, a few phrases here let me go ahead and push it and you can see it also lights up uh, on the button, uh, some areas of the translucent plastic here, and his mouth uh, does open and close, so that's kind of cool. <laughs> it's just very sinister. Where is the Crush the so that was very cool. It looks like uh, about three phrases on there. It's just very very nice uh, design figure on there I really do uh, dig it it's very very cool on there uh, going over uh, some of the articulation of this uh, figure uh, the head uh, does go uh, back and forth uh, but not all the way around which is fine by me uh, and uh, the head does not move up and down but if you jog it back and forth you can get the mouth opening and closing uh, the arms are on a ratcheted joint so they can go uh, all the way or well not quite all the way around yeah you have to work it uh, but it does uh, do go all the way around it does not go out or in though uh, there is a joint here uh, that uh, acts as a hinge joint that allows the the lower part of the arm to go in and out and there's also a swivel allows uh, the arm to go all the way around and an additional um, swivel joint uh, due to the transformation so you can get a, quite a range of motion on the arms much like a double jointed uh, elbow there with an additional uh, rotation so that's kind of cool and the uh, hands here uh, can go all the way around and the hands are preformed looks like I can't get it quite all the way around here yeah, there we go. Let's try it. Try it again. And doesn't look like it's all the way around, but mostly all the way around on there. Unfortunately, uh, no torso or waist articulation on this figure. Uh, the legs are on a ratcheted joint, so you can go 
up that far down uh, to the back and you can actually go out to the side and this uh, panel here actually accommodates the leg going out which is very nice you have a swivel at the knee and a bend at the knee so really large range of motion on the uh, leg as well on there and what's really cool uh, on the feet uh, you do, it's due to the transformation but you got really nice ankle pivot on there so you really can get his legs spread out and a menacing pose or dynamic pose and uh, you can accommodate the feet uh, for stability on there you just gotta watch out for the back heavy uh, portions here but uh, really great uh, for posability you can get uh, this guy yeah, in uh, quite a few poses. This is really really cool on there and I'm really happy uh, to get this guy even though I'm missing the projectile yeah, but it's really nice uh, figure to get on there but uh, this is my casual peek into the Transformers animated uh, leader class Megatron uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you guys next time <laughs>